Unimaginable grief became an incredible story of generosity today as grieving parents worked to donate a nearly $7,000 piece of equipment to a local hospital in memory of the son they lost. But Paula Tupman shows us you can't put a price on what these parents are really giving to other families. So we thank you so much. Arlie and Jonathan Hulkrin are making time by donating time. When their son, whom they called Junior, passed away, he was only six hours old. At another hospital, he was placed in something called a cooling cradle, and that gave his family a bit longer to grasp the ungraspable. Junior was gone, and somehow their lives needed to continue without him. It still is terrible and terrifying and sad, but, you know, you're able to wake up and see the sun, and that's my son, that's my boy, and I see a rainbow, and, you know, it you're able to move on even though you don't think that you will ever move on. And so when the Hulkrins realized that they could extend the time a family has with a deceased infant, despite their grief, they raised money to donate. They worked with a nonprofit, Metro Detroit Share. On his first birthday, which was October 8th, 2022, we held a fundraiser in his honor and raised over $6,500 to get uh, the carrying cradle that we were able to donate today. So we just wanted to help as many families as we can. That cooling cradle, this one called the caring cradle, was so helpful they decided they wanted to raise money to donate one to Corwell Health Trenton, formerly Beaumont Trenton, because they didn't have one. And while you might think hospitals have everything, they don't always. You know, when babies are born that early, their, their skin starts to change and, you know, Unfortunately, they stop looking like a baby towards the end. So having the cooling cradle just is a more dignified way of keeping them looking like themselves for as long as they're able to. When um, a baby dies, um, natural things occur. And unfortunately, that goes with time. But with the cooling cradle, we can delay that time because we can keep the body temperature lower. Um, and it means that they just get that extra special time. Today, the plaque ceremony. Yes, there are plaques at hospitals for this and for that, and each one comes with a story of a gift that will help others. And so this simple act of selfless love and caring extends from two grieving hearts to many more. And Junior's name will always be there. Therefore, so is he. Anytime you can see his name written, you know, it's... Everything. It's everything to us. Not time you want to save, but time you want to keep. And this cradle will give heartbroken parents a few extra moments they can cherish. Paula Tutman, Local 4. And our hearts go out to that family. Each year, some 40,000 infants are stillborn or die just after birth. Hopefully this gift will help ease the pain for local families in the future.